What I'm about to say is not to be applied across the board. This is a some, not all type of thing, all right? How to spot a scumbag. And again, some, not all. Because some people don't have no ill intentions behind what I'm about to describe. Like the dude at the club. Can I buy you a drink? He might want some ass for that drink, or he might just want to see you drinking. You just let me in. No! I, I spent a lot of money with you, no! and you act like I don't even exist. I, I need you to come in. Damn it, please. Let me in. Damn it. Don't leave me like. Some, not all. How to spot a scumbag. You know the fights that turn into wars on here over these wrenches, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And a lot of this stuff could stop if people were to simply ask, would you like to have a wrench? But see, an enslaver ain't gonna ask you nothing. How it? Bam! <laughs> They'll just slap a wrench down there on us. Don't even care if we want it or not channel owners, people who want to own people. To the enslaver, that little blue thing is a yoke of iron that they placed around your neck. That little blue thing, to the enslaver, that little blue thing are like uh, shackles they placed around your wrist and ankles. Ah! 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 That little blue thing they used to uh, bound you for a thousand years. You are in debt. And now you owe them your mind, body, and spirit. I don't tell people where to go. That lie. You don't tell people where they can and can't go. No, but your reaction says otherwise. Your reaction is to throw a hissy fit about seeing somebody who be in your chat in somebody else's chat. So no, you don't need to uh, verbalize the words you can go where you wanna go. I don't tell people where to go. For people to be able to see that you do feel that you can tell people where to go. If you hit me and I hit you back, did I need to verbalize my dislike for you hitting me? No, I just react. I'm tired of this shit, nigga! Damn. Oh, what? Oh, he's... Oh, I didn't make you do that. So, so what? You say over and over again, I don't tell people where to go. So what? Because look at your reaction. His C fits. And people who have had to repeatedly say, I don't tell people where to go, are most definitely the ones who try to control where people go. He's rolling around the floor. Because why do you keep finding yourself repeating that? Every few weeks, every few months, you have some drama about seeing somebody in the chat room. Why? Well, it's because you've been trying to tell people where to go. <laughs> oh, wow. Did she laugh? That's why I keep hearing you every few weeks, every few months. I don't tell people where to go. Shut up, line. Why you be in a chat? You know I don't get along with them. You know they my ops. Expecting loyalty from somebody who you captured with that little blue thing. People who never told you that they wanted to belong to you in the first place. You just snatched them up. Bam! <laughs> and you know what? People on here really be acting like they have supplied your every need. While you be over there in they chat. It's if the asker has already given you everything you need on YouTube. And when you need some more, you are to come to them. This is how they think. Like drug dealers, I've been there, done that, been on both ends too, serving and high on on supply. Day. Hey, hey, I've I've been through some shit in my day. What? But like drug dealers, try to find another plug. You know the plug, the supplier. Find another plug and watch the plug come see you. Like, uh, hey, uh, you know you haven't been around for a while. Tell the plug you found another plug. Plug gonna be like who? What you mean somebody else got it? former plug gonna give you them problems. But this is how these channel owners think, that nobody else can serve you better than them. But how to spot a scumbag? Can I buy you a drink? Some, not all. Remember. Drink. 
listen, people who seemingly name their chat rooms, you spot them like that seemingly name their chat rooms because they're not really naming their chat room they're naming you and me you know how people will name their chat rooms and often it's after their own name like the Nishidites and to greet you as you enter the room welcome Nishidites to all my Nishidites grand rising they're not naming the chat room they're naming the people in it those wrenches are not actual gifts you know how we all know that kind of person who we know better than to accept something from for free. We all know people like that. It's a trap. That wrench that they forced by your name is not a gift, nor is it a favor. Some, not all. But they're not naming their chat rooms, nah. They are branding us like a, a steer or, or other cattle. They're placing bands around your ankles like we do pigeons. And I say we because I've raised pigeons on and off through my life. But yeah, you become property with that little blue thing. This is how they think. That's why they won't ask you if you want a wrench. And listen, some people don't. Some people just don't want to be told, no, I don't want a wrench. They don't want to hear that. They dread hearing no thanks. But others... They will throw a net over you whether you want it or not. Want it or not. And hey, don't think I don't see the other ones. The ones who want a wrench and be walking around the chat beating the baton against their hands. And a lot of this stuff could cease if you would just ask, do you want a wrench? Well, why don't you just say no? Listen. And I shouldn't speak for everybody, but I will anyway. Listen, we don't say no to a wrench that you just slap down there because we don't want to be rude. And if I can find it after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unprivate a video I did about this maybe four or five years ago where someone named me and I went ham. People are not naming their chats. They're naming me and you. I said, don't do that. Not to me. It'll be taken off private. It's a video that I did on my other channel that got terminated and I re-uploaded it onto this video, but I uploaded it straight to private. Really breaking down day but that's by all day. I wanted to say. This is some real Man after a day of watching us on here act a fool. Like children. I'll be entertained by much of it though, but other times it'd be too childlike and after a day of watching all this stuff i'll be feeling like romper bomper stomper boo tell me tell me tell me do magic mirror tell me today did my friends have fun at play i see derek and kimby there's daisy daniel Jana, and sharon i see peter and trisha Shauna, Carrie, Eddie, and Larry. There's Jennifer and David, Melissa, Carlos, Myron, and Samson. There's Austin and Sean, Edith, Larry, Jason, and you. And I'll see you all again in Romper Room School.